kids. Kids. Shut the hell up and sit down. Listen. I understand excitements and field trips like this, it can be boring. So, why don't I spice it up a little bit? Remember in Chapter 2 how we went over the downfall of the Crimson Fleet? I don't remember, Dad. Well, you weren't here because you were sick all day because you're stupid. I remember that... I, that... The, the, the guy... He, the, he, the, the Crimson Fleet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, listen. We all know how that story ended. He took down the entire Crimson Fleet. There was no problem to it, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, then. But here's the deal. No one ever wants to go after the story. You know, what happens afterwards? Look, kids, I'm never going to tell you anything of importance that's going to matter at your lifetime. But just know something else. When the time comes and you do the thing that you're set out to do on whatever kind of journey that is, just know that the story doesn't end. It always keeps going until you finally drop. So, just to make this more entertaining, how about we continue a little bit further into this story of the man who destroyed the Crimson Fleet? How about that? Okay? Okay. Sit down and shut the fuck up. Actually, before we do anything, I just want to make sure... Okay, yes, we are streaming. This should be... Oh, what would be a quiet area for this guard to be positioned on? I think... I'm doing all right. I'm trying to help you here. I think if you position yourself. Excuse in an me, area... stupid teacher. What? This story doesn't really seem to be consistent. What happened to him after he was like done with the Crimson Fleet? He got a rewarded medal. Do you want the after story about that? Go to the last video. My last video, sir. We're on a fucking spaceship in the middle of nowhere. Just shut the fuck up, all right? Listen. He went. Back to this station because a while back his friend died and he kind of wanted to figure out who the fuck killed him, basically. So now he's kind of doing all this shit. Alright? We good? Basically, this is like a murder mystery and he's trying to solve that. Is that good enough for you? He's trying to figure out who Poppy playtimed his friend's Garden of Bam Bam. Oh, okay. Okay, I get it now. Fucking iPad kids. Hey. A visitor? I have all the company I need. Who are these 120 rotations? But Jinan knows this is blasphemy and delivers the killing blow. Sorry. Can I help you? Um. So <laughs> I'm looking for something called unity. And no, not some vague concepts of words yes okay, so the drifter asked them a bunch of questions if your philosophy is built on the individual's own morality what about the second person that second person might disagree isn't the problem with you what you the founders respond each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up all of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward and it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. He says, this, the problem, that. Hmm. Maybe there's a message hidden in what he's saying. Honestly, I think the founding members needed all that. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the drifter and you never see anything like it again. Hey! hey you're back. What did you mean? In line story, use the words second and two. Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum hmm. addendum. What if we break down the parts? No system is named finite or add. 
That just leaves in and done. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. <laughs> Next planet, I need to find his dum dum. What do you think? Well, I suppose that'll make someone laugh. I think I have everything I need now. You think it is out then? Well, good. I hope you find it. The true meaning of unity. Before you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in the universe. This, uh, this is all a bit above my pay grade. How was that a bad thing? What? How was that a bad thing? Are you kidding me? Sam didn't like that, and I'm now self self doubtful. How was that a bad thing? I don't what. Not a bad place for a pit stop. Couldn't agree more, Sam. Blah blah blah. Then Rotar spent like a whole goddamn year just trying to fucking decipher a bunch of bullshit, and he also took out some pirates. Cheers. Oxygen's here. <laughs> hey, Bosco. <laughs> How does it feel to be out in space? Roger, Roger. Make sure we're not gonna get destroyed the moment we land. All right. This seems safe. It's an odd way they do this. What is this? Interface? Okay. What? What the heck does that? What does that mean? Those creatures were awfully nice. That was good. I, it's it's a rarity to find creatures that you know you don't they don't want to kill you instantly. I almost feel bad with taking them out. I swear I'm just overpowered. I think it's time for round two. I There's a second starboard that's guaranteeing my safety. I think I deserve a lot more than fucking answers. I have no reason to trust any of you. I told you I would leave you alone, and I did it. Don't make me regret that decision. You killed one of their own. They have good reason to feel threatened. All of us should feel threatened by each other. That comes with the territory. The question is whether you take the risk and talk to us.
They are making it so easy for me to shoot them in the face. I swear I am more than prepared just to open fire on them. But I want to do it in person. If they try to pull off anything, I want you all to know these fundamentals. If they dare to justify their actions, if they try to explain it be behind some kind of mystical understanding as to why they killed Barrett, I will not believe them. I will constantly pray on their downfall. Only if they repent for their actions will I even bother to realize how pathetic they are. And even then, I will still try to find ways to take them down a peg. Starborn. Hello. Again. <laughs> Do you remember the Emissary, perhaps? And their ship, the Helix? I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. Couldn't agree more. All we ever wanted was to talk. You attacked us. Yes, we did. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. Like one. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? You killed. We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. That doesn't justify murder. And who gets to say that? You? Me? The Emissary? Me. I have debated morality for near infinity. And all I have found are groups of people enforcing their will on others. Enough. We have more to discuss. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place. A gateway. It is where we were reborn. Not a relatively expendable Dusty anymore, are you? Look at where you've ended up. Is this some kind of fucking joke? I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> this universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe and a doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the unity. When I stepped into it, I became a starboard. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. Both of you are trying to keep people from I it, though. To. This is bigger than all of us. <laughs> all the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the Temple. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. 
They used the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your launch because I wanted the artifacts, and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? What in the hell? What does this mean? It means I've seen thousands of universes, collected their artifacts, been to their temples. You have a small taste of their power, but it keeps going. I'm nothing like you. you. yet. Go through the unity a thousand times and you'll gain a better perspective. I have hopes for you. Higher hopes than the other members of Constellation. They all end up like the Emissary. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. I'm not helping someone who murdered my friend. Don't you understand what we're talking about? There's an infinite number of your friend out there in the multiverse. One is right over there. Besides, why fight me again when you don't have to? I want a truth. Between all three of us, give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine or the hunters? Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. It's given me a pretty obvious decision. Join the man that killed my friend. And just trying to justify it by claiming there's hundreds of thousands of more out there in the endless cosmos. Or join the one that I lost. You know, I'm gonna be honest. Sometimes the obvious choice isn't the right one. But today I think that it is obvious what we should choose. And what we are going to choose. Just, just before we do that though, I literally want to explore this place. What the hell is this ship? I'll be Before leaving. you leave, I want to give you something. A way to another artifact, but also a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old Earth. There are secrets there you must discover for yourself. Here, to open the way. We need time to figure this all out. 